So my friends, before I start, okay, this is not dry yet. <clears throat> before I start <clears throat> with the tutorial, I wanted to <clears throat> inform you that by the end of the tutorial, I made a mistake confusing um, template 12.3 and 15.3. When you're following the video, don't worry, don't panic. This just just a simple mistake. I will mention about the flaps here and cutting off the flaps. Don't do that. That has not changed. All I did was I had this panel here and this one there. So pay attention to which panel and don't make the same mistake as I did. And uh, either than that, everything was just keep following the tutorial. It's fine. So I'm not adjusting any templates here because it's all good. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be this way and not the end so just telling you just wanted to share that um, it's just that I made a mistake and I could have known because I could have looked here how it's supposed to look like right it was just in front of my nose so this is the start have fun continue uh, don't panic don't worry um, have fun and looking forward to seeing your creations in our group. That's it. Bonjour, everyone, and thank you for ordering the Meso Gregorias. Oh, here's a smaller one. That tree pumpkin. How scary is this one? <laughs> Anyways, um, well, this is my sample. Um, I made it bigger because I thought it was really small. Kind of smaller, so I made it a bit bigger. Um, yeah, so let's start. And I said thank you for ordering the pumpkin, but also thank you for subscribing, or thank you for ordering the um, the 3D bundles. Um, that would be the pumpkin, the ghost, and the skeleton. I think I might offer it as a bundle. I'm not sure yet, but in case, I wanted to thank you for ordering that. And I hope you will have fun uh, making this 3D crafts with me. So let's start at start. Oh, what I do after cutting is this. Look, I keep them. When I'm cutting, obviously your um, silhouette or your studio design space is open. So um, I try to keep them in the same order as provided so the uh, uh, numbers and uh, so this one and then you two three and then I use this clip um, to keep them together so that might be handy for you I still got my tan from Greece I'm very happy with that although it's it's fading a bit but yeah it's darker on screen but I'm so happy with it it's been a while that I had a tan because, well, you know, COVID, you were, well, you know, anyways. Let's go. Um, let's start with part one. So, it's very easy. What we're going to do first is we're going to fold all score lines. This is pretty straightforward, actually. We're going to fold all score lines and all th loop flaps. First. There. So the tutorial is going to be as follow. I uh, I do not fast forward or anything, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause it during transitions, okay? And then I'll drop a photo in between or something, and um, and then you can pause it while you're finishing it up. Trying to um, make it a fast tutorial as possible. So I'm folding all the flap first, <coughs> as you can see. <coughs> Although it's not always easy to see because the paper is so dark. There. 
And the last one. I lost some time because I already filmed it, but during the filming, um, well, I had made some adjustments. And then the numbers wasn't correct and it could have been confusing, so I was like, yeah, it is better to just cut it <clears throat> all over again and film the tutorial. Okay, here we have, so, anyways, we have, mm -hmm. oh my god, let's just go here, and here, and here, and here. Okay. Eventually, you don't have to fold the score lines, because eventually they will adjust to the shape of the um, the design anyways when you're attaching them so you can actually start attaching them now if you want to look so I'm gonna attach <clears throat> pretty straightforward I'm gonna apply glue on all the flaps just it doesn't matter which one you start with just pick one um, also remind you that the um, last one is always a bit harder so I'll be showing that to you how I do that so we do this there <laughs> apply glue now we attach it to the next one Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Remove excess glue. Attach the template on top of the score line as much as pos possible. Press the flaps against the panels here. For a It's better, always, actually it's better to just start with the top and the black glue there first because by the time that you get there, look at me now, I'm struggling to attach this. The glue will dry up, <coughs> dry out and you have to black glue again. So make sure you attach the top first and then perhaps when it's attached, because when I'm holding it still, you can apply glue. When filming the other one, this was no problem. <laughs> no, I just did a template and it's becoming a problem. No. There you go. Flaps even more, make sure they're really attached. There. Okay, I'm gonna do another one with you. And then there's going to be a short transition, like I mentioned before. And I'll come back when I have done most of them. And I'll do the last part with you together. Oh, again, I'm applying glue all over. Start with the top. <laughs> Forgot that. Okay. Press the flaps against the panels. There. There.
here. See, it's very easy. And then eventually when you do that, <coughs> you'll get, um, get a shape. You get a shape. And you can also still mod podge it after if you want. You can paint it if you want. Um, you can do whatever you want. Shade it, color it, decorate it. So yeah, um, I'll leave you to it. Finish these two and I'll come back when for the last one. Okay? Short transition and then you can pause it. See you there. See you. So welcome back. I hope you didn't have a hard time attaching your panels. As I mentioned, um, I'll be attaching the last one with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply glue on the flaps here. On the first three, attach the last panel. I'm going to use my bamboo skewer as my finger extension so I can press the flaps against the panel okay and don't worry if it's not perfectly it is fine because it is quite intricate you know and it's it is just the the branch or the stalk or whatever you want to call it and it's Halloween, so it's okay if it's, you know. So, if I go there, attach the second two, folding the flaps back. I'm gonna be using my chopstick as my finger extension as much as possible. And I was looking at <coughs> at the screen <coughs> and then the last few here we go oh There. Okay, and now the last one. So make sure this one is dry. That part that we did. Mine isn't really perfect. There's something in here. Just gonna let it dry before we're gonna finish it up. Okay, so it, it won't move. <clears throat> in the meantime, we can go to part two of the templates. And we can attach template number two together. So I'm just gonna fold them up. It's because it is supposed to be hollow. I mean not we don't need to um fold the flaps there. Fold the score line towards you, and the flap is easy to fold it backwards first and then towards you. So that's it. Apply glue on any of them, doesn't matter which one first. Attach together one side. Press. If you don't apply glue a lot, then it dries faster. I 
and then touch this on top. There you go. And this one goes on top of this one. But we're not gonna attach that one yet. We'll do that as last. And then put it aside. Keep them in the same order as provided, okay? So in the meanwhile, we are going to fold the flaps and score lines of old templates. them there and yeah oh. in the same order as provided So if you don't know how, just look at the template and the numbers that like you're thingy, okay? But do watch, follow the tutorial because starting from template number 12, It is going to be <clears throat> different, a bit more complicated, okay? So, let's skip and do not think that you, you might make mistakes and then... Okay, so you do this, all of that, <clears throat> all the flaps and score lines, lay them out properly, okay, and I will see you in a bit, short transition again. So, welcome back, as you can see I've laid them out all here. I can't really see properly, but I try to keep them as together as much as possible as provided in the silhouette. So here we are. We are attaching the last part. I think it's pretty much dry. Let's gonna attach one more flap here. That goes inside. I don't know why it's there, but you can see that. Okay, now it should be dry. Now I'm opening up and folding the flaps, okay? 
getting glue. Hold on. There. And I'm gonna again. Like because see when now it's dry, I can do whatever I want. I can open it up more and without things moving. In this case, we have to apply glue at once. And then I would recommend to apply thicker glue on top so it doesn't dry out so fast. Oh, chips. Keep dropping things today. Apply glue. There. And insert the flaps. All at once. And if I were you, I also sh would advise you to um, have some wet wipes with you or to clean your fingers and wet wipes or a wet towel. Don't be off the glue and wash it off. Scrub it off or you know, don't be it off, especially when you have tins up. Oh, what's wrong with me? And now I'm just gonna attach the panels on top of the flaps. Hold it, help the template, help the paper. It is still paper. And if it gets too really too much glue, you can always mod podge it. I really would recommend doing that though. Mod podging it. Okay. And done. Now there are flaps on top, which I'm just gonna push down like this. And then apply glue here. And this one doesn't really have to be perfect. All you have to do is close it. And just attach it on top. Press. press, press, press. I think if you use glue gun, it dries faster. If you hold it for some quite, quite some time, it just stays there. Oof. Oof. There. There you go. And for the last one, might be imperfect, could be messy. As you see, mine's very messy too, a lot of red blue residue. And that's why I'm gonna mod podge it. Now, next step before I pause, we're taking a um, template number. We're gonna attach four, five, and six to 11, is it 11? Yes, correct. 4, 5, 4 to 11 together. This will be the back side. <clears throat> this is 4 to 11. This will be the back side so, of the pumpkins, uh, of the pumpkin. That's what we're gonna do. Again, just gonna I'm scraping off the thick part so it dries faster. Again, pretty straightforward.
attaching from top on top of the score lines. there <clears throat> and you kept doing that <clears throat> for all one by one start four five six etc and then I'll be back at 12 because that's where it's gonna be a bit more complicated so yeah continue that and I'll see you in a bit again so welcome back so this is what you should have by now, right? The back side. And now we're going to panel template number 12, which is this one. So I do recommend you, I do recommend that you um, have your design space or studio open while following this tutorial. So we're going to take template number 12, we're gonna apply glue. Excess. And after that, we're going to take template number 13, which is this one. I'll attach them first. Start at the top. see it's starting to get a shape. Template number 14. It should be here. My glue.
bottom. You're starting to see a shape, right? And after 14, we're gonna add template number 15. Uh, no, 13, 14, yes, yeah, 15. This is the front side, the face. There we go. Now, <clears throat> to move this up a bit, now we'll be attaching, still not the top, the top hole is bigger than the bottom hole, so then you know what the top is, and also there's only, we're gonna attach the top, the here. Together, okay. I need to, I forgot, I need to make an appointment today for my booster. Booster vaccination. Not forget. Hot chips. I'm not allowed to. Before we attach the other side, see, it's very easy, but <clears throat> all it does requires is some patience, because I tried to glue this here, but as you can see, it wasn't dry, so yeah. We just let this dry, short interaction, and I'm um, also just gonna call for my booster appointment. <clears throat> and yeah, and also it's been f like 24 minutes, only got six minutes left, and then it'll be a short transition, anyways. So I will see you in a bit. Uh, just be patient, just short transition, you can keep watching or pause it, and um, I'll see you in a bit. So, welcome back. I took the liberty to attach mine so I don't have to uh, this part as well. So I don't, don't know, prevent more, um, how do you call that? Uh, pulse in between. There you go. We'll see that, All right? And now, now we have attached this, we are going to um, 12.3, that is all the way at the bottom, 12.3, and 15.3. I'm going to attach this together. So again, 12.3, 12.3, 13.1, 14.1, and 
and 15.3 okay that is the bottom part of the um, pumpkin and we will be attaching tying glue again and this time starting at the bottom Didn't have to apply glue there yet, I guess. Press the flaps against the wall or panels apply glue on the next one There you go. there and this will be attached at the bottom part so again we'll be attaching fine glue here at the bottom there we go I, I also oh maybe you want to know I tried to call make an appointment um, for my booster shot but uh, I wish I took it earlier this year. <laughs> Sick bummer, but I didn't expect to go anyways. Uh, and now I can't because it is not my turn yet. <clears throat> right now, um, turn is I believe people who were born. born 1955 or something and they don't know what will happen next so I can't make an appointment and I'm already leaving in five weeks five weeks guys five weeks so now I have to I guess the Philippines Embassy or something or Philippine Airlines. I'm not sure what to do. And because I've heard on the news that if you do not have a booster, you have to be quarantined for five days. Yikes.
detergent because I emptied not. I just attached the other one. It's not completely dry yet. <laughs> so to be extra careful. Anyways, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, oh, I think I'm not sure though, but I do think this flap has to not supposed to be there, but we'll see. Ah, you're getting there. You're getting there. You're getting there. Okay, now we are taking template. Um, how does this go? Twelve point two. There and attach it here. Here. I did not do the double thingy, so it's going to be easier. Double panels or interior panels. Or else it's just going to be more paper and more work and very complicated. Um, um, okay, and now uh, I do believe that I need to take this flap out. So if you're like, I don't have this flap, then that's good because you should not have this flap. I think I should take this part away altogether because that's the tooth here. So if you don't have this, I see now. Maybe I should leave it and just take out the flap. Very sharp tooth, right? We'll see, we'll see. Because um, I don't think I can be here. Um, yeah, so I'm taking this flap out. This flap is out. And I think this flap too. But maybe not necessarily, because what you know what we could do with this flap? Just fold it in. Uh, okay, and the next we have 15.2, which we have to attach on the other side. It speaks for itself. Again, just follow the pointing thing. There's only one way to attach it. And then Like down this up here. Oh, chips. And this is why I always want to make sure it's dry first. Of course, the other thing is gonna be so cute. Pulling it upside down for me because it's easier for me to attach this part here. Which you may understand. And there you go. Yeah, the tooth is fine, it's just this flap. But I will have to remove. So for now, I can't remove it now, but I can cut it off. Right? So let me just cut it off. And I will adjust the template in a bit. Actually, I can do 
which one is this? Okay, okay. 15 points. 15.2 Hold on guys Let me do this Take this away Because then I know I have to adjust that one Okay Ah It's there right How cool is it now Monday Right Okay And now we're coming to The last parts Of the Thingy We have here Um 12.1 and 15.1 so it is shown in the this is, is 12.1 and that's 15.1 for the flaps apply glue and Okay. Fold it up. Apply glue here and attach here. So it has to be hollow. Okay, this is going to be the ice. Flaps. There you go. Is this a flap too? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think so. Let's hold the flaps. So this is 15. One. Put that aside. Let it dry, and we can attach this part as provided in the. And sheet okay, touch here and here hold it there Will be fragile and not dry and connect top making it hollow make sure you attach it proper oops properly folding the um, score line there and press again and fold the flaps backwards Now we have this the eye, and as you can see, we have this triangle, right? It goes on top. That's the only one that has not a flap because the flaps are here. Applying glue on the flap. the triangle part on top press 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 and let it dry before we continue meanwhile we can attach the other side and again you can see that the flaps are here and you want to go there, so you have to attach it this way. Applying glue on the flaps here.
there, touch and let it dry. Now, I think this should be dry, so what I'm going to do now is fold the flaps here. My glue. Makes your life easier when the glue is dry. That's why we have to go from, you know, one side to the other. And give the glue the chance to dry. Oh, I forgot to touch the glue there. And insert. Place your fingers in here. You can fold the tooth if you want for now so it doesn't get in the way. Search your hands. Find a position that it's more comfortable for you where you can touch here and can reach. flaps there but just fold those inwards okay the flaps here so. and got the plug in here Here is a flap which we also going to do on the inside and fold inwards. And then the last part of here, black blue. Same as with the other one. There you go. Again, find a position here that you can insert the flaps from the inside push it so, and then attach it just kind of glue here and there there you go and then oh And aligned, align. There you go. And now you have made the pumpkin. Almost. Can do the bottom. What I do because the bottom is pretty small, right? But what you oh, the goose. What you could do is when you want to attach it, you have those double-sided tape, right? Or you can. Use even glue gun or double sided tape up to you. Or maybe it just goes in your arrangement or I'm not sure what you're planning. You can hang it up like the ghost and put in artificial those LED lights. <coughs> Lamps that goes on battery 
obviously don't put real candles in here because it is paper. And then here at the bottom. And then I'm pressing my fingers here inside against the bowl, against the flaps. So they're properly attached. So both index finger here, you can't really see, but I'm pressing here. There you go. So, ah, it's also getting bigger. It's really hard to show you now. And now we have this. On top, oh, where are we applying? Same thing. You may leave it open also, by the way, but I'll leave that to you. I would close it because the mouth is big enough to put in the um, LED light. I need to put my finger in there. Oh, chips. Maybe it's better to attach one panel first, let it dry, and then the other. Because then it can't move. So let's do that. It's going to attach the first three here in front. Or first two. Whatever. It does work. all at the same time it doesn't work there you go oh it's also coming off sometimes with this thing glue gun is so much easier and faster okay um just have to wait for this to dry my friends and also change the battery because the battery is empty so I'll see you in a bit. Short transition, you can keep on washing, but it'll just be a short transition again. See you in a bit. Change the battery. No. Let's try again. Press one flap, and next flap, and next flap. Oh. Maybe we should do it one by one or two by two. Press. Gotta help the template. bit bigger because I think I made it too small this one. I adjusted it because the other was too big and now this one is too small. 
so I think it's perfect. I think, well, actually, it's good. It's just it's hard to. There. Because if I press, see, and the other one comes off. So take a deep breath. Patience is required for this part. And again, this part doesn't. Yeah, I think it's I have to make it bigger. So I need to send that, send the template, and I just need to march it. Yeah. Is it? I don't think so. Yeah, it's too small. Okay, I have to send it to Margie. Make it a bit bigger. Okay, now I understand why. Because mine is a bit too small, as you can see. I have to adjust that and make sure yours fits. So, let's pretend that's... Okay. And I would suggest to attach this top. But uh, with glue gun because that will dry faster. Because this, or else you will have to hold it and wait for it to dry. So may I suggest? Oh, I forgot the circle here. Okay. Touch this. Here. Let it dry. Oh, what a weird, weird lightning now. And then attach this on top. Okay? And that's it. Any way you would like. Oh. But I have to do that, I think, with glue gun so it is faster. And I will do that off camera. So that was it for the 3D thingy. I will have two. Um, I think I'll only take a picture of one. You can, you can make it smaller if you would like. And create more than one or three. So I think I'll add it and show you that. Um, maybe not because this is adjusted after making this. You can see the, the tooth is longer and right, it's different. So, yeah, there you go. Hope you had fun making this with me. I'll make sure this is adjusted on top, and yeah, have fun. And then you can hang it up if you would like, just by adding a uh, you could rope here on top. Make a small hole there and hang them up with a rope and put your candles in there. Or you can use double sided tape at the bottom so they will stay. Okay? They're not flat, they're round, round. So, but they also, maybe you don't even have to. My surface isn't, how do you say that? Isn't flat because the house tends to move in a bit. Yes, I live in the Netherlands, and <laughs> so if I let it go, you will see it will fall towards my side. That's because the house isn't straight. Hope you had fun making this one with me, and looking forward to seeing your creations in our group. Uh, if you're not a member yet, please consider joining us, um, and you may share your creations there for the monthly freebie or just for fun. Follow our group, follow my page, please. Instagram and on Etsy. Subscribe here on my channel. And yeah, receive notifications when I'm online posting something. And also in the group, um, paper flower challenges. We have an October challenge still going on. And uh, what else? Uh, and giveaways, because it will be Christmas soon. You don't want to miss out on that. Um, have fun again. And also, if you enjoyed this one, please consider heading back to my Etsy store and leaving a, a review. I really, 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 really would appreciate that. Hope you had fun making this one. And see you around. Oh, and if you're posting on Instagram, please make sure to tag me. Um, Meso Gregoria, or How Cute Is Your Love, or Paper Flower Power. 
Thank you very much. Bye.